where he really controlled the interior. Powell floating off the glass. He's already had a tough time rebounding out of it. Powell's able to penetrate it as well. And certainly, you cannot leave Powell in the open looks like this. No, you cannot. And that is why. 13 already for number three. Yeah, he shot 50% from three at NC State his last year. I think he should shoot more threes. They got to find an answer right now for Miles Powell. With three of 17 from outside the arc. Certainly not the strength of this Georgetown team. Powell through screens. Ooh, did everything but drop dribble. And so naturally the defense gets used to defending that. What's different with Powell is he make you work. Interesting, these are Seton Hall's first free throws and nobody there. The screener, the hedge man, has to be out there. We'll see how the final 145 plays out, but if you're Patrick Ewing, you get in the locker room down two possessions, you got to be thrilled. Absolutely. But just as I say that, Miles Powell enforces his will. He's got throughout his career. Yeah, he is a strong guard. Of course, he came in as a... Does Powell have the answer? Of course he does. And that's no doubt that Gill is in the head of these Hoya guards. Powell blowing right by Terrell Allen. Way from Wahab. Really good defensive rotation from Roden. Powell this time taking it to the rim. Continuing to switch those defenses, trying to keep Seton Hall and Miles Powell off guard. Powell with a left hand. Flips it up. Ooh, that might be goaltending. Inside, Romaro Gill. No, got it back. And somehow saved it out to Rope. Near turnover. Powell drives. And Powell gets the roll on the road. Boy, if you put your seven, follows it up. That's a blocking foul. And to the other end, we will go for free throw. Five for five.